a tēnā rā koutou katoa, ka mihi ki a koutou, a tō waka tāki tamu o TV o Ngāti Kahununu. E ngā mana i ngā reo, e ngā kāroa, e ngā rā maha. Tēnei hi mihi ki a koutou, mā awa, mā ngā temana o te Māori Standing Committee o Hawke's Bay Regional Council. Ka tai mai i tēnei wā, mā awa, ki te whiri whiri kōrero, ki a koutou he pānga, ki te kaupapa e puta mai nei the Māori wards or Māori seats for Hawke's Bay Regional Council. The Hawke's Bay Regional Council has now opened up submissions. They are going to conduct o hui a iwi in each of our taiwhena, wairo, whangarui a rotu, heretanga and tamatia. The website information containing that pānui will be attached to this. We just want to make sure that you have the right information, that you are well informed. More importantly, that you actually understood what the real question is here. And the actual question, and there is really only one question, do we actually want Māori wards or not? Do we want to have representatives at that table whose sole purpose is to put the view of Māori forward without having uh, to curtail what they have to say uh, because they're part of a general uh, electoral seat. So therefore, if you like, they're having to take into consideration the views of, of that wider constituency. It's time that our voices became more than just voices, that our aspirations moved from aspirations uh, into policy and became uh, strategy of uh, part of the strategy of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council going forward. Wairau have had Māori uh, wards or Māori constituencies uh, over this last electoral term. Half, uh, sorry, five of the councillors there are of Māori descent. Three of those represent Māori wards. Two of those are in the general uh, uh, constituency wards and it works well. And I'll ask Michelle to talk a little bit about that. As, as, as we know, Michelle is uh, te wairo ho ngumu ho pupu mā tangi rau, so if anybody should know better, it is Michelle, how, how these go. Kira koutou. Uh, yeah, so the, um, the Māori wards and the Wairo District Council were hard come by. Uh, I can remember seeing our queer walking with their voting papers to make sure they lodge it, even though we have 64% uh, Māori population, it was still a struggle. Um, but we, we got it, and this is the first time we've had the, um, the uh, new councillors in place. There are three uh, that are from the uh, Māori seats, and um, we also were lucky to get two in the general seats. So five of the seven councillors are Māori. Uh, Māori descent and, uh, and within the mix of the uh, the three uh, Māori electoral uh, voted uh, councillors, uh, one is mana whenua and two are um, a tairahiri, um, but they honunga and our people so they're tamariki a uri o Ngāti Kanaki Te Wairo and, um, and in the end we voted for the best person for the job the people we thought would do the best for our people in those seats and that's what it's all about and who would think that yeah, you've got these three Māori seats and then you've got another two so majority Māori uh, in, a, in a district council and there's there's not there these two uh, uh, general uh, Māori councillors sitting in the regional council at the moment so what's to say we have our two Māori seats and then we have other other Māori representatives in the um, in the general seats, and uh, the more the better, um, because our focus is is a different focus. We don't look at our tail as a resource; we look at it as a tipuna uh, that we must look after and have a responsibility to. So um, our focus is different, and and it's and it's very difficult to be there. As supposedly a treaty partner, when you're only in an advisory role, so we can advise as much as we we like on behalf of Tangata Finua, but in the end, the final vote sits with the councillors. So if we really want to have that say and to make that change, 
our people need to sit there as a partner and and an equal you know have equal rights and we don't have that at the moment um and it's it's yeah it's not a not a good position to be in mm. sometimes my mm. Mm. um I, I i know that there's there's been times that we've um, advised against um a particular motion um, both myself and Mike and the RPC representative, um, which which is uh, he, who is there on behalf of uh, post settlement governance entities throughout Te Matara Maui, and still were ignored. Um, so yes, um, it's about you getting to that, um, um, putting in that submission, whether it's in a written form or online. Uh, going to the regional council site and doing an online submission and if you can also come and speak to your submission um, please turn up to the hui at the tai whenua in each of our uh, areas and uh, and have your say uh, Mike and I and Api and everybody else we we we, we repeat but we, we always repeat ourselves and say Yes, we want a seat. Yes, we want a seat. But they want to hear it from you. So, so far, no. Um, please come down to the to the meetings and the hui iwi and have your say, so that that uh, they don't think we're making it up. <laughs> um, um, you know, I I've, I've, I was saying to Mike, you know, people say, oh Michelle, why wouldn't we want it's Māori constituencies? Why wouldn't we want a seat at the table? We went, exactly, and it's about time. You know, we've been waiting 181 years. I don't want our my my mokopuna, my my uri to be waiting another 181 years. Um, the time is now, and uh, Nanaya has cleared the way, eh, my? Um, so now it's just a matter of once we go through this consultation process, it comes down to the go through this consultation process, it comes down to the councillors making their choice, eh, my? Correct. Um, yes or no? There's no other choice. There's no other loophole, yes or no. Do Māori deserve a seat at the table as an equal? It's a, and it's a treaty-based decision, not a race-based decision. So we're supposed to be a partner. So just... Our job is to encourage you to put your voices forward, either verbally or in writing, to the uh, Hawke's Bay Regional Council, supporting the kaupapa of the establishment of Māori awards. Hoi anō a koutou, ka tai mai te wā i whakakapi a tātou kōrero ki a koutou i tēnei, i tēnei wā. Uh, te mē nui uh, e whakamārama, uh, e whakamōi o tia, uh, te, te, uh, te ataki uh, e pānga ki tēnei kaupapa. So whānau, we, don't wanna, we do not want to labour on on this. Uh, I think we've made our, uh, our position clear. Um, we hope that you support the kaupapa by actually putting in those submissions, coming along to those who are iwi. Mm. Uh, and, I, I, I just yeah. want to add one more thing. Uh, um, this, is, this is about the seats, but this is primarily uh, about our tile. Um, they are the regulatory body, regional council are the regulatory body around the tile. And I know you have waterways with no water in it here, eight months of the year. Then you look at Tamatea, Porongaho River, it's, it, it's reduced, over-allocation, all our waterways are degraded, the Modi is degraded. The only way that is going to change is if we're sitting at the table. And that's what we need you to do. We need you to submission up for right for our waterways, right for our wai, right for papatūnaku, right for our mokopuna's future. Please do those submissions, speak to them, turn up to the hui whānau, we need you there. Kia ora. Tihei kaununu, tihei takitumu, tihei mauri ora. Kia ora tātou.